Hello everyone, in this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So I don't want you to use your calculator, we have simple numbers, we have three only, we don't have squares, cubes, so what is the answer? So of course most of you out there are like, yes I can handle this, this is basic multiplication, subtraction, so we don't have parentheses, so we can easily solve it. But let's try to solve it by yourself, so I want you to use your to choose your option 0, 3 and minus 9 and write your option down in a comment, it will be really interesting to check our answer in the end of the video, yeah? So obviously whatever order you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, yeah? So the main thing to understand what is the correct order, because because a lot of students do this common maybe mistake, we, I don't know right now, so we have 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 3, a lot of students like to, uh, to solve it like that, so they see okay 3 minus 3 this is equal to 0, yeah, and 3 minus 3 this is equal to 0, which is really great, it, this is simpler for them, because 0 times 0 equal to 0, yeah, so a lot of students solve it like that, and I want to show you that right here we need to to see a correct order of operations. So we have PMDMC order and we need to work with the correct order of operations. So moreover, I want to, to say that this is absolutely incorrect approach because we need to start with PMDMC order. So the first step we need to look about parentheses, so do we have parentheses right here? So I don't have any parentheses, I don't see any parentheses right here, which is really great because we skip this part. Then we have exponent, yeah, exponent part, so do we have any like cubes, squares, 4 power, 5 power, oh, I, don't, I don't see any of those, we don't have any x's right here, so we skip this part as well. Then we have multiplication and division part, yeah, so we don't have division, so we need to work only with multiplication, so I rewrite this problem, so 3 minus 3, times 3 minus 3, okay, and let's see, multiplication, division part, we don't have division, we still have multiplication, so we need to, to look at the multiplication sign, so we have this sign right here, so we need to multiply first these two numbers from the left and to the right, yeah, so 3 times 3 equal to equal to 9, so we still have 3 minus from the beginning, right here this is our first step, we have 9 and minus 3, and this is our correct approach to this problem, because right now we still have only, only subtraction and we can easily solve it from left to right, so 3 minus 12 equal to minus 6, and minus 6 minus 3 equal to minus, minus 9, which is absolutely correct, absolutely correct answer. And then I tell to my students, okay, okay, you want this answer 0, you, you, do you think this is correct answer? But then I show them really interesting trick right here, so take a look closely. We have 3 minus 3, I read this problem, times 3 minus 3. Okay, and then I ask them, what do you think, what do you need to put right here to create correct answer, uh, to correct answer 0? And then I tell them, okay, first step is parentheses, so if you have parentheses, you need to start with this. So if you want to get this 0, you need to put brackets, you need to put parentheses right here, and then this is really great, because you need to start with parentheses, right here 0, right here 0, and you have your answer 0. But right here we don't have parentheses, so the correct answer is minus 9. Really tricky problem, a lot of students, this is a common mistake, they like, like to subtract this at first and then multiply, but this is absolutely incorrect approach, if you want to get this 0, you need to put brackets or parentheses and parentheses right here. So definitely don't feel bad if you get this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, right? If you're struggling with basic math or like pre-algebra concept, you can easily subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure, thank you for your time and have a great day.